This is the Beckler Simplex automatic pinion and gear cutting machine. You start the machine by actuating this lever here. The part is automatically loaded and the spindle begins cutting. Since the Beckler was made in 1956 and probably designed much earlier, it doesn't have the benefit of computer numeric control. Therefore, all of the automation on this machine is done with cams, gears, pulleys, and the like. The Beckler's cutter is mounted here on the spindle. This is a blank and you can see that it has a taper to the cutter and this has no cutting profiles installed on it. It's held in place with a drawbar that runs in the center of the spindle. I have put spirals on the head so maybe you can see the rotation. I'm not sure if that will come out. The pinion blank rests between this point and this point and is indexed with this indexing wheel in order to cut gears. The Beckler actually has two indexing plates. Drawings describing the blanks for these indexing plates are included in the documentation package. The outer plate actually holds the parts alignment for each tooth and the inner is where the pawl grabs it and advances the part to the next tooth. The actuator seen here takes care of cycling the machine once every revolution of the cut part. It comes in contact with this piece here. If this stop screw is in this position, the part being cut will only be cut in one revolution. If the stop screw is in the upper position as shown here now, cutting of the part takes place in two revolutions, two passes, allowing for a roughing cut and a finishing cut. When the Beckler is set up to run two pass cutting, you would actually have two cutter heads on the end of the spindle here. When two pass cutting is desired, the second revolution would engage the second cutter head as we see here. On the top of the machine, there are three adjustments. One is for the first pass cut, if you're doing two pass cutting. The second is for the second pass, or a single pass cut. And the third is for the height the cutter is raised when it is traversed to begin cutting the next tooth. There are also adjustments here on the carriage to adjust the offset between the two cutting heads when doing two pass cutting. At this end of the machine, you can see the cup cam and follower wheel that control the traverse of the spindle carriage. The Beckler Simplex is intended to be loaded with a magazine of blanks, and it will cut these blanks, automatically loading and unloading them, until the magazine of blanks is empty. This machine comes equipped with loading and eject mechanisms, but not a magazine or the holders for the individual part. These are generally made to suit the part being cut.